Hi, everybody. It's Friday. We're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Kramer to break down today's market action. All right, Jim, stocks are not really doing much, but it doesn't I like mean a we're down opening. I like a down opening uh, to try to test where we were yesterday. Uh, remember, this is tariffs, Trump, and trade, so there's nothing definitive. Uh, obviously, we're in a market that's very thin, as my uh, colleague David Faber is talking about. There was a big, a massive future sell-off yesterday. J.P. Morgan had, uh, you know, three billion to go. It crushed the market, and then when the sell program was over, you saw the market lift, uh, and it just shows you how fragile we are. Um, so if we do get the wrong statements out of uh, Mnuchin, sector Mnuchin, then we go down. And then if we get the right statement, meaning that there's a deal, then we go up furiously. So it's a little binary for my taste. Uh, that's why we're keeping some cash fraction alerts. We put some money to work when it was down 400 yesterday. Everything you know kind of worked out. But I know that we'll revisit that level if we get the wrong trade talk. Otherwise, what happens is I think the shorts are covering because they don't want to be in a position where there is a deal. So I think because we're oversold, it's the onus is on the shorts today. Uh, now the $200 billion uh, in trade imbalance that they want change, that's a, I think that's an opening bid. Uh, I think that uh, president is, is, is able to stand by uh, if the Chinese shut down uh, the talks. Uh, so there's a lot in play, a lot at work. And, and all that against Warren Buffett on Sunday saying everything's great, and on Monday telling everyone to buy. Maybe a little Monday, bit. Monday, by the way, he has moved the market repeatedly that Monday, and then Tuesday, uh, sellers come in. And he made some comments about Apple, which we'll talk about in our Action Alerts right. Plus video. Meanwhile, Jim, maybe some relief, though, from a Fed point of view, that wages didn't come in so hot right, this Right, I mean, now, you're beginning to think that uh, maybe the Fed only do two hikes, which then, uh, because of the way this market works, they sell the banks down because the banks need three hikes. It is uh, by rote now. Um, you get three hikes, the banks will get by, you know, they're strong enough. If there had been a stronger number, uh, they would have flown, and weaker number, they go down. So the banks are just a total proxy for whatever, uh, for whether there's three or two. Again, binary. We saw a little change in construction jobs over the past month. That relates to floor, which is, that stock's well, getting Well, I mean, construction is weather. But floor is big jobs, um, you know, the big engineering construction jobs. I wonder whether uh, the impact on GE, I know that Mar that my friend Mark Chekin uh, said that he felt that GE is bottoming. Uh, this is an interesting test for GE because you also had the uh, talk of bankruptcy of their mortgage company. Bad news keeps coming. Meanwhile, Jim, last night on Mad Money, you interviewed the CEO of Norwegian on a ship. Yes. Now, that's the, uh, the Bliss, uh, the latest, uh, beautiful, a big bargain for a lot of millennials, more than about 25% millennials. Uh, it's because the rooms are inexpensive and they're very frugal. Uh, it, it, I went up to the first class cabin. It was rather remarkable in terms of the, the free food well, you're paying for. It. But actually, it, it's a fraction of what a first class hotel room will cost. And uh, they run that ship tight uh, with a lot of crew. Uh, of all nations, 60 nations, and what I like best about it is, is that the gross margins are amazing because of onboard spent. And I know a lot of people are freaking out because uh, the capacity is, go is going to be six percent next year versus five. But the demand—we already know what the order book is. And the order book's very strong. So I like this, and I like Carnival. Uh, I really think Nor uh, Royals good. The these are remember, it's a big three. Um, and I do think that Norwegian, because it's lag, they have a big, uh, uh, you know, they have a, a meeting today to show off the bliss. It's going to be on the bliss. I think there's going to be buyers coming from it. That's important. And he said he has the youngest fleet in the industry. Which yes, is even though it's the oldest company, they've turned their fleet over. Uh, these are magnificent, these ships. And now my daughter does cruises. I uh, have not done cruises. Uh, it, it, why have I not done cruises? Well, you know, I try to, when I go on vacation, I try to, uh, I'm pretty sedentary, uh, so I wouldn't be able to use all the things that they do. Uh, these are very active, and I am, uh, you know, I, I, I like to relax, and these are not, uh, you can relax on a cruise, but there's just so much to do, and I think that the cruises are ideal for millennials and for, and for kids with their parents instead of, it's an alternative to Disney. Of course, Disney has a cruise line too. All right, it's also earnings season, so you can't go too far. No. <laughs> okay. Jim, who do you have on Mad Money tonight? I have uh, this company, the old Taser, Axon, and remember the CEO there is taking uh, his payment, his salary in stock, 
And then I have FireEye, which is a fascination to people on a takeover basis, but I suggest you look at it on a subscription basis. Now, last night we had Proofpoint on. Uh, that's my favorite. That is even more than Palo Alto because it, it has a lot to do with the uh, trying to stop phishing, trying to stop the bad emails that uh, that are way right into the company. Uh, they take over your PC. They uh, so they can crypto mine with you. They, obviously, uh, a lot of different. You know, you'll click on a link and it it, it looks like it's to uh, a legitimate alpha and it isn't. Tries to stop that. Uh, uh, Gary Steele has been the best performer. Uh, the stock went down because it was a very confusing analyst report. We went over it. Uh, he, 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 I'm accused of confusing report. He admitted it was confusing. We went over it, and remember, billings were good, and this stock trades on billings. Mm. All right, we'll be watching your interviews tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern on Mad Money. But, Jim, you'll also be interviewing the CEO of PayPal tomorrow. Yeah, PayPal acts awfully. Uh, this is one of those times that try uh, the shareholders of PayPal. And those who have been in it, know that periodically uh, there are people who say that they can stop PayPal. And I want to ask Dan whether this is no different from Visa, when JP Morgan, when uh, Gene Munster used to come out all the time and pronounce the company dead. PayPal has been pronounced dead multiple times. It's being pronounced dead again because of an Amazon initiative. Uh, it was pronounced dead because of Apple Pay. Uh, it was pronounced dead because of MasterCard. Uh, these all didn't pan out on the dead side. So we're going to uh, go there uh, tomorrow at the boot camp. Uh, there's so many, of Sarge is going to be there. You probably read Sarge's column, which is just a must read. Tony Dwyer is my favorite uh, big, big picture analyst. He's so good. Carly Garner, she has nailed the commodity market better than anyone that I've seen. Uh, uh, Jeff Marks, who works with me on Action Alerts, he and I are going to like go over the best ideas that we heard and talk about two of our ideas that we like very much, and so, so much more. So I do hope to see you, um, even just for PayPal. If you own PayPal, you got to beat it. I mean, it, you do. I mean, I would not own PayPal uh, if I didn't know, uh, hear Dan. Dan is going to be, uh, I think, definitive about what the uh, plan is. And remember, one more thing, it's Cover Friday. It's Cover Friday because yesterday was down in anticipation of how bad thir uh, Friday would be. So people have figured out that, uh, and this does happen periodically, people have figured out that everybody sells Friday, so they sold Thursday, and then Friday turns out to be a day where you got to cover. Okay, it's a great time for an investing boot yeah, camp. Can, yes, we're going to answer a lot, a lot of questions, a lot of good people, uh, and, and PayPal. What can I say? We've been buying them. All right, please go to events.thestreet.com slash teachin to buy a ticket. Jim, we'll continue talking about Absolutely. stocks on actionalertsplus.com. We'll see you there.